Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at customizing axes with Bokeh. Let's get started. So first off, let's go on and start up a new um, Python file and let's call this one um, uh, Bokeh custom, custom axes. So uh, first off, what we're going to want to do in here is uh, start off with uh, from a bokeh dot plotting. Going to import the figure and show. Uh, these are our standard imports. Um, now a couple things that we're going to do is we're going to be setting up um, setting our axes. Okay, uh, appearance. Um, now. Let's go on and just get up a, a, a basic plot going first. So um, first let's prep the data. And actually I don't really want that in there. Uh, let me go in and make a new line. So, uh, so let's prep some data. So x again is going to be something like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, y here is going to be something like uh, 2, uh, 4, 6, 3, 2. Um, and then let's go on and create a basic plot. Uh, so P here is going to be figure. And uh, what do we want in here? Uh, let's go on and create a title. And this will be something like... Uh, uh, custom axes. Then we also want in here, we'll do our size mode. Mode here, we'll do stretch width, and then uh, we'll have our uh, max width in here. We want to control the width, and let's say that we want it to be maybe something like 600, and then let's say our plot height here is going to be something like, um, I don't know, 350. You know, let's make that max width in here, 700, so that everything kind of matches up a little bit. Uh, and we'll, we'll leave that as it is. And then let's go on and actually um, create up our renderer. So, Uh, so add our circle renderer p dot uh, circle uh, x y uh, size here is let's just have 15 um, and then let's go on and show this so then you can see what our basic plot is whoops sizing mode okay so you can see our basic size um, and again it will auto fit um, just to uh, the maximum width here of our 700 pixels um, and I'll let me go in and zoom this in so we'll start to see when we start customizing some things okay whoops so first off, let's go on and right below the circle renderer is where we're going to start adding in uh, some change the x axis. We're gonna we're gonna start messing with it a little bit. So p dot uh, x axis uh, dot axis label here, and that says I'm the x axis okay uh, and then we can do something like um, we can change the line width p dot x axis dot axis uh, line width here and we'll make it usually it's one so let's make it four something we'll make it nice and big p dot x axis um, dot x dot axis line uh, uh, line and let's do color in here and let's make it red okay so that we can actually change that so let's run this so you can see what happens so notice here what happens is we added in oh and you can again let me 
toggle that off so I don't accidentally touch things. So you can see here our, our name. I am the uh, x-axis changed here. We added in this red line. Okay, so we and we made it a little bit thicker. So again, you, you can see here what the standard uh, size is in here. Um, and then we also went on and uh, again, so a couple, we, had, we did three things. We also changed that line width. So you can see here that, whoops, that this line is nice and thin. Here we made it nice and it's, I wouldn't call it nice and thick. I think it's actually looks terrible. Um, but we can also see here that it is also red. So we changed those um, three attributes. Let's go on and do something uh, also with, um, with our Y axis. Okay, so let's go on and change the Y axis as well. Uh, and let's see, what do we want to change with it? Let's do P dot, dot Y axis dot axis uh, label. Uh, and I'm going to say, ah, I'm the Y axis. Uh, and then let's do something like P dot Y axis dot uh, what major label text color. And let's make this um, something bright. So orange. Okay. And then we'll do something like p dot y axis dot uh, major label orientation. And so instead of that horizontal, we're going to make it uh, vertical. So let's go on and see what we happen. So again, three things are going to change here. One, text color is going to change. And again, so if we wanted to change any of these other types of attributes, this would just change to y axis here. Okay, but I'm just going to show you some other things. So axis label, uh, I'm a Y axis. Then we're going to change the text color of it. We're going to change it to orange. And then we should also see that its orientation changes to vertical. So let's run that and notice here. Okay, the the axes uh, and numbers changed to orange. And let me zoom in on that just a little bit more so we can see it. So uh, I'm the Y axis. Now then these numbers themselves actually change to orange. Okay, and instead of, um, let me actually turn this off so that you can actually see the difference. Notice here these numbers are uh, horizontal so that they're kind of, I don't know, I, I believe they're kind of easy to read here, but you can change that axis. We can turn this back on and run this and then you can see that now that they have changed to vertical. So this is kind of nice. Again, you can customize each of these pieces. Now, again, we are we have been strictly working with x axis and y axis. So that's here, this y axis and this x axis uh, parameters in here. But what we would want to do if we want to change both uh, axes, okay? So we can do something like this: is p dot axis dot minor okay and then we'll do something like a tick in is going to be negative two p dot axis so again if you want both axes you just type axis otherwise you give them their attributes of y axis or uh, x axis uh, and we'll do minor tick out here is going to be yeah, five. We'll show what happens here. So again, you can see here that the sizing uh, changes. You can actually see that they um, even separated out just a little bit as well. So this is kind of nice to be able to optimize how your ticks um, look as well. And we can always mess with them um, quite a bit um, later on. Now let's move on to um, uh, maybe defining our axis ranges. So uh, let's let's actually go through and let's actually create up a new. Um, I want to create up a new file in here. So let's do um, bokeh custom axes two dot pi. 
because um, this one I want I want I want a little bit things to look just a little bit different um, and I'll close that one so let's again import our standards from uh, bokeh dot plotting uh, we want to import figure and we want to import show and let's also put in uh, X here one two three four five uh, Y here is going to be uh, something like two three four three uh, five and then uh, let's go on and create a figure so P is equal to figure and then we want our Y range so here we're actually going to strictly define our range okay so um, here we want this to be and again this takes in this takes in a tuple okay uh, so we want it from 0 to 25 okay and then again here our title here is going to be uh, axis range uh, and then we'll also do something like um, our sizing mode here we're going to stick it to stretch width Uh, and then we'll also do something like our max width here is going to be 800. And then our plot height here is going to be 250. So let's go on and add in our circles. So p dot circle x, y, uh, size here is going to be 10. Um, and then we'll do p dot show. Oh, show P, sorry. Whoops. There we go. So let's take a look at what this has for us. Okay, so what the only thing that's really changed in here is this um, Y range. And you can see here now that our Y range is actually from 0 all the way up to 25. And again, we can even muck around with this and let's say that we want something like I don't know 250 just really really mess with it and notice here now these almost all look flat and again it starts from 0 goes all the way up to 250 and again you can always format these um, in uh, a variety of different ways uh, let's go on and maybe do some extra uh, some extra formatting here okay so Let's change this to, uh, what do we actually want to change? Um, all right, so first off, let's go on and actually import something. So from uh, bokeh.models, we're going to import numerical tick formatter. So we're actually going to change this up uh, a little bit and it's going to be I think it's going to be kind of cool this is very useful for those of you in finance or accounting or management that are going to be using maybe some money values um, so let's go on and remove that line um, and here we're going to change uh, let's see uh, this to what um, tick formatter uh, we'll keep the stretch, um, we'll keep the width, uh, and we'll keep the height. Why not? Um, and then let's go on and do, uh, we're here, we're going to format our axes ticks. Okay, and so P dot, and let's say um, Y axis, because we're going to do the Y axis. Now we want to grab that first item. In there and we're going to do dot formatter and here we're going to do numerical format tick formatter and inside of here we're going to do something like a general format so format uh, is going to be and we want this some sort of dollar sign followed by a number followed by uh, two more numbers so again this would be uh, numbers and uh, dollars and cents okay um, and we're going to add in our glyphs um, and here we want circles size 
I'm gonna make these a little bit smaller. Let's, um, what, what would we want here? Let's say we want this to be five. And then p dot line uh, in here x y uh, color here is going to be red uh, line width here is going to be one. We want it nice and thin. So let's take a look and see how this looks. So we can see here now that we have our uh, numerical values. We have everything going from two dollars all the way up to uh, five dollars uh, and again it goes again we see these nice uh, red lines and everything but what we really wanted to look at here was the formatting of our y-axis so you can see here how nice it actually formatted everything um, again it gives us this nice uh, kind of dollars and cents values and again it's going up by 50s here again you can change that as well but this is also very nice and easy to read and also helps your um, your reader or the people looking at it kind of uh, understand that oh this is a, this is about money in here these are money values and again I don't know maybe these are um, I don't know maybe you would later on maybe have product names here instead uh, for these values uh, so let's go on and do maybe one or two more examples in here um, and you know what actually I'm going to actually we're going to end it here this is going to be with the end we'll end with the tick formatter if you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.